Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. I have some questions about Beryl Thorne. What do you want to know, Agent? I suspect Thorne is smuggling relics, and I think I know how she's doing it. What I lack is proof. I need someone to step forward and testify so I can arrest her. I'm looking for an honest citizen, Captain. If I see one, I'll let you know. That's funny. Really? I'm authorized to pay a generous sum for any lead resulting in an arrest. Think about what's best for you. Are you absolutely sure you don't know anything about Beryl Thorne's criminal activities? Tyrodal is the real smuggler, Agent Saganti. Thorne's partner? What do you have to back up that accusation? The Force told me Tyrodal is evil. Seriously! Laugh it up! All the way to a prison cell. Because that's where you're headed. Nobody escapes justice forever, Captain. Nobody. Keep practicing that line, Agent. Someday it might scare someone. Let's go, Min. Barrel needs to clear out of here. That agent won't give up. I don't want Barrel getting caught. Me neither. She's one of the good guys. We should drop by her place on our way to Zone Zero. It's the least we can do. Boy, Captain. Life with you is almost enough to get me missing the good old days. Ah, for Ord Mantel. Where Separatists were bad and guns were good and we could just run in shooting. I could be persuaded into a little drunken gunplay. I'm not drunk. Just tipsy. I could still bullseye an Imperial soldier at a thousand paces. Why don't we have more fun on this ship? Back home, when we needed a laugh, we used to run the Rontos in circles, then see if they could charge us without falling over. You got any suggestions that don't involve farm animals? I've got a few, but uh, they might take a while to explain. Care to let me show you? I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. I've got a few ideas of my own I could show you. It's not right. Me propositioning you like some huts dancer, you, you deserve better. You deserve a man you can let your guard down with. Someone who'll take care of you for a change. The day I need someone to take care of me, I'm selling the ship and taking up knitting. You're the strongest woman I ever met. The strongest person, period. I'd fight for you, or with you, or at any command you give. I just think you deserve more. I never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left, and I think she should know what happened. Never worry about favors, Corso. You're part of my crew. That's a generous offer, Captain. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Rona came with me when I left for the Brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ward Mantel. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. You two will be back together before you can say a verbal thurs vibroblade. Uh, a verbal... Th verbal... <sighs> so not that soon, then. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. I thought you were all about protecting the poor women folk. Well, yeah. My uncle would have given her a walloping if he'd known the kind of men she was with. I remember one time, uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about twelve. I didn't know how else to distract Uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail, 